How you doing? So it's just going to be an overview of uh, my stay at Greystone. You know, I, I didn't like it. It was too confining. It was just too uh, boring, actually. You know, they had a thing, it was called J-Wing. And they tried to, uh, you know, you had to try to do some kind of, it was an activity thing. They had different uh, different groups. I had a computer group, which is pretty interesting. I like that. But that was once a week. And, uh, yeah, what else? My psychiatrist, you know, the psychiatrist that didn't do any kind of uh, psychiatry with me or anything, what he did was he ran a, uh, a dance club or something. So if he weren't dancing, nobody showed up to his group. So he was just sitting there dancing, you know, and then one time I had to go out and do something and I came back and it was in the middle of my uh, J-Wing activity and uh, I walked through the door he comes out dancing and everything. This is my psychiatrist who doesn't do any psychology with me and it's just giving me these uh, 60 milligrams of Gia done. Doesn't even try to reduce it, doesn't even talk to me, just his rationale for giving me the uh, medication that I was in is because uh, program risk wouldn't accept me unless I have, was on medication. So he said, I'm just trying to build your resume. So there was nothing with my psychological well-being going on as far as why I was taking these meds. It was just so that another program would accept me and take me, uh, take me, you know, to like, like alternatives did. But, uh, Risk, Risk said that I was too, too sane or whatever. They, they said that, uh, they said that they didn't have any services for me, so they didn't take me. And then they, so what happened is they had, well, actually, I want to mention my, another J Wing. I had current events where we went, we would read an article in the newspaper, and we had a group of people. Everybody would read an article, and then we talk about it in, in in the discussion forum. And that was interesting. I liked that, and uh, you know that that was probably the only ones I had. They have they have a pretty good art uh, program there, but. You know, I'm not good at art. I'm not. I'm not really good at that. You know, but there were some people that were. But back to uh, the risk program, I went there, and they did a, a, a month evaluation with me, and said that they didn't have any services for me. But then, you know, I had some problems with the courts and everything. So I clarified, I paid my fines and everything, and I went back to risk. And they said, well, we don't, we don't think you're going to, you know, qualify, but we'll watch it because, I mean, we'll check you out. Because they were checking out some other guy there. So they figured while I was there, you know, while they were there to check the one guy out, you know, whatever. So as far as entertainment went, I went. But the risk problem, the guy was half asleep when he talked to me. I mean, it wasn't even, you know, it really wasn't worth it, but, you know, it was a shot, and, you know, I couldn't just deny it, and, uh, and, and you know, just sit in the ward and, and just screw around, so I tried, but then they said no, yeah, but then I got alternatives. And alternatives had a new program, so I guess I want to thank some of the politicians for uh, uh, giving the grant money out for uh, alternatives. Even though, if you read my other, watch my other videos, you, you know that alternatives isn't a good program. Uh, you know, it seems like all these programs, even with Greystone and everything, it just seems that they don't really take the patients into consideration. They. Uh, you know, they're just there to collect the paycheck. And it seems like there's no oversight. There's nobody that actually is talking. You know, there's no nobody's checking up on the, on the patients and asking the patients what they feel. That's why I'm, I'm doing these videos and everything because I figure I'm, I'm a lot better off than a lot of other people on disability 
and you know I have a, I have a flip I have a computer I can voice my opinion and uh, I can speak for people that you know don't have computers and just are pretty much complacent and compliant because they they have no choice really they're you know it's either Greystone or alternatives and you know or the streets and they they couldn't I was, I was homeless and I was able to survive off my disability checks and uh, you know other people really you know on disability couldn't survive they wouldn't have been able to do what I did you know so you know I'm trying to speak up for some of the people that just don't have the voice they, they really can't you know, they can't speak. You know, Alternus is not really a good program. You know, they're not doing the necessary paperwork and everything. And then they're, you know, just, well, you know, you have to watch my other videos. I don't want to get involved. I'm just trying to, you know, it's just going to be my last video on Greystone. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure I have everything covered. But it's mostly the psychiatrist not even caring about my psychological well-being and just putting me on medication without any rationale, but then have other, another program accept me, you know. So I'm taking 40 milligrams of Geodon now twice a day, and I think that's going to be reduced. I think the psychiatrist I'm working with now is going to work me off, work me off meds, but I don't know that. So, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably make another video that talks about Family Guides because I have some problems with them also. You know, it just seems like I have problems. I, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not a problem person and I'm, you know, I'm an accepting person, but, you know, now I can voice it out. I can get it to politicians and stuff that can, they can see my handshake from the medication, you know. I can, uh, I can, you know, be some kind of a bridge or something like that. Uh, I, I think I'm a nice person. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't try to cause problems. They just, you know, they're there, and I'm, uh, you know, and I'm just voicing them out. But it, you know, it seems like it could come across as, because I've been diagnosed as paranoid schizophrenia, that I'm just, you know. I just have problems or something like that. But, you know, somehow, to, you know, I have to voice out what I've seen and uh, just hope because I wrote NAMI about alternatives and I wrote them the first, I think today's the 13th, and uh, they haven't done anything. So, oh, they, the advocates at, the, uh, at Greystone weren't helping me. You know, they weren't trying to voice, they weren't voicing my opinions or anything. All they said there was the paperwork was in order from when they gave me the shot. Not that, you know, maybe a second opinion was in order or some another view could have been expressed. There was no, no judge or anything that was, that made any decisions. It was just everything is done, you know, in the psychiatric world. And, and they just med you up. If you step out of line, they'll give you more meds. And, you know, I'm, I was fortunate enough to where I'm only taking one med, where the, the you know, I've seen people taking like 10 meds, 10, 10 things of medication. They can't function. I, you know, I couldn't really function at Greystone on 80 milligrams. You know, it's just, just sitting there being, you know, just taking up space. But, so that's just pretty much my, uh, my, my take on Greystone, and if you read, you know, if you go into the newspapers, I think the Express Times, Lehigh Valley News, I think it is, and you type in Greystone, you know, they have articles that pretty much already say everything I, I've said, you know, or, you know, about broken English, having cultural barriers and, and stuff like that, you know, it's nothing, nothing that's new, you know, these are just people that are, are more elite and in the position that, that are uh, speaking versus just me. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your way.